Okay, this is how to uh, create virtual machines that we're doing right now. Um, the first thing is, uh, just so you know, these are the virtual machines that are already created, 1 through 9, and 8 is the only one powered on right now. To create one, we go to File and Deploy OVF Template. The current template should automatically come up there um, that I've already made. Go Next. Next. We have to name it, and the name is, we're going to stick with that convention, so HS0010, because it was 0009, that's the next one in the line there. Next, leave it alone, next, and the only other thing is power on after deployment, that way when it's done it automatically starts the machine, and I say finish. Okay, so it's creating, uh, right now, both it's creating both machine number 9 and 10. I actually haven't tried to do two at one time. I'm not sure how slow that will be. Usually I only do one at a time, but I wanted to show you how to do that. So I can minimize. When it's done and it comes up, it'll be right here as powered on, and that's the next step. So you could have one deploying, or I mean one starting up, and then you go to the other one and, and finish it and then shut it down when you're finished. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right click on here and say open console on the one that's powered up and we're going to see it kind of look just like Windows XP is up. Now this is exactly what it's going to look like. It's going to have this up. If it's up just close it out. Not a big deal. Uh, and then you can close out any other pop-ups that are, that are open. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go to start my computer and right click on it to go to properties. Okay, so start my computers, right click, go to properties, and you get this property window. And what we're doing is we're adding it to our network so that it works all the way. So I'm going to go to computer name, and I'm going to go to network ID, and I'm going to click on this five times to get to where I want to go. So one, two, three, four, five, and I get to the name, and I'm just going to add the number on the end. So this is 08 and the domain is NTLS and I click next and it's gonna have a pop-up asking for someone who's able to do this so um, I've made a temporary account Pass username is A password is AAAA -A -A -A, and domain is NTLS um, so that's gonna allow us to connect to the domain and then I'm gonna say OK and it goes out and it verifies that account and it says are you really allowed to do that and if it works I get this and I say finish it says you're gonna have to restart I say okay I say okay and then right here do you want to restart the answer is no because first I have to click on this VM auto logon so I'm gonna double click on that one say yes and okay and now I'm gonna shut down and restart now what should happen if I did everything right is it should shut down restart and log on as that new virtual account that I just put on that so I'm gonna let it shut down all the way and now it's rebooting Something's wrong with my time on that server. If you look down here in the bottom right, it says I started at 5.11 p.m. I'll have to fix that. Okay, so here's the Windows machine starting up, and if everything works the way I want it to, which it did not, uh, it should have logged in to that account for me. Ah, I forgot to make it change to NTLS. I may have to fix that. We'll see if this works after it logs in. Because really what should happen is it should auto log on to this account. And it should never let anybody else log on now. So we'll see what happens when it comes up all the way. So when I log off, what should happen is that it should log off 
and log right back on to this virtual student. So students cannot basically log off. And it did not do it. So I'm going to have to figure out why that happened.